Hey guys, what's going on today? Video service information here. Working on a 2016 Chevy Equinox. Vehicle's got around 96,000 miles on it. The customer stated that the check engine light is on. Vehicle died while they were driving down the road and there's oil leaking from the vehicle. Got a little video clip here showing you... Uh, Time and chain slap, tick noise, uh, sounds like it's got a lower end rod knock, most likely from all the oil being drained out from the rear main seal getting blown out from the clogged uh, PCV system. Cold temperatures right now, see a lot of Equinox here. With uh, you know the condensation in the PCV system and it freezes, you get that excessive crankcase pressure and it blows out the rear main seal. And they were driving while this happened, so, I mean, this dumps out, you know, quarts <laughs> of, of oil. So, you can see by the undercarriage here, it's all sprayed and oil soaked underneath. So, it doesn't take long. We got a lack of lube concern from the loss of all, all this oil. And we got, you know, most likely some damaged rod bearings. Here's a video clip so you guys can uh, listen to the noise. You can obviously hear the time and chain slapping, ticking noise, and you can hear the lower end rod knock noise. Hey guys, video service information here. Got another Equinox. Uh, this one's towed in, engine knocking. Pull a dipstick here, no oil. I'm gonna get it in the shop here, get it up in the lift. But it blew, <clears throat> I believe it blew out the rear main seal too. On oh, this one, PCV most likely frozen up and causing that extra crankcase, crankcase pressure and blowing out the rear main in it. It is knocking pretty good too. We'll get it fired up here and listen to it. And sure enough, we get it up in the air, and you can see the undercarriage is oil soaked right from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. It blew out the rear main seal, lost all its oil, or most of its oil, and suspect, you know, we get some bearing damage there because you could hear it uh, with a lower end uh, rod knock. Also, time and chain slap noise. It did have a P0016 as a camshaft to crankshaft correlation code. So, we got a time and chain that stretched also. That might have been prior to the, the oil leak. So, with the issue of the uh, crankcase ventilation system being clogged and blocked from the condensation, it's most likely probably froze because it's really cold out this morning. Cause that excessive crankcase pressure blowing out the rear main seal and they were driving it when it happened so you know we by the sounds of it we get some rod bearing damage with the vehicle almost having 100,000 miles on it uh, it's going to be more cost effective just to replace the whole engine on the on this vehicle hey, if you guys want to see more Chevy Equinoxes and GMC trains at the 2.4 issues Make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notified when I do put more videos up. I appreciate you guys and have a good day.